Hi, this is Rich, and uh, welcome back to Maths from Scratch. This is uh, column method subtraction level three. Now, just to recap from level two, what we um, what we learnt in level two is what happens when we have a number in any column that's smaller than the one underneath it. So I was just uh, that didn't work that one, so I'll just I'll write another one. Um, so as we can see on the first one, so this is just a recap from from level two subtraction. If we look on our first column, the six is, is smaller than the seven, and so we can't actually take those away. So what we need to do, we need to um, take part in an operation known as compensating, which is where we borrow a number from the column to the other side of it. So this two is gonna reduce to a one, because I'm just gonna take one away from this and write it next to the six there. We then read this as a 16, and then we need to do 16 subtract seven, which gives us a nine. Then we move on to the tenth column, one subtract one, well that gives us a zero. And so the answer to that one is just nine. And that's what we learned in level two. Um, so that was, so level two was an introduction to uh, compensation. Um, if that was a bit quick and you're not sure what that was all about, um, go back and watch level two, and then you can come back and watch level three. So this level three just expands on this idea of compensating. Um, and we're just gonna take it one stage further. So let's have a look. At, um, at our first example. And so this is level three in our column method subtraction series from Maths from Scratch. And so, as you recall, what we have to do when we take part in any con column method subtraction is we have to check every single time we do this that the top number is bigger than the bottom. And if it's not, we need to borrow or compensate. So let's have a look at example number one because all level three is, so how this is different, is there's just gonna be more than one column where we're going to have to compensate. And as we carry on through these levels, it's just varying degrees of difficulty of this compensating process. So enough uh, enough rabbiting on, let's crack on. So first column, units, four subtract six. Now four, again, is smaller than the six, so we're going to borrow or compensate from the column next door to it to the left. So we're going to make this a zero, and we're gonna take that one away from it and write that as a 14. 14 subtract six, well that's gonna give me eight. And a quick way to do this in your head is rather than actually subtracting six, is just work out what you need to add on to six to get to 14. So six to 10 is four, and then 10 to 14 is another four. And so two fours gives us the eight there. 10 to column zero subtract nothing just gives us a zero. Two subtract four, well again, this is smaller, so we're going to borrow again from this one. So we're gonna reduce that to a two and then move the one that we've taken from the three next to the 12, uh, next to the two, sorry. Now we're gonna read that as a 12. 12 subtract four, well again, six to 10 and then 10 to 12 is two. So six add two gives me an eight. And then the, finally the thousands column, two subtract, well there's nothing there. So sub two subtract zero just gives me a two. And so the answer to example number one is 2,808, okay? And so there's our first example of where we have to borrow twice in that calculation. Now it looks quite complicated, doesn't it, when you see all these strikes throughs and the little numbers next to it. So that's why when you learn this for the first time, when you're primary school or um, whatever you call it in America, small school, um, it takes a long time to kind of practice this and get it and get it automatic. So you know, I'm not underestimating how awkward and difficult this is if you're seeing this for the first time. It's not easy at all, unless you've done about 10 million of them. Right, so example number two. So first column, one subtract three. Um, well, again, it's smaller. So let's borrow. So we can borrow from this five. That's gonna reduce to a four. So the one is gonna live next to this one now. 11 subtract three. Okay, well, that's going to give me an answer of, well, three to, to add on to 10 is gonna be seven. So then we're just going to have another answer of eight there. So four subtract three, well that gives me an answer of one. Two subtract three, um, well this doesn't work because it's smaller, borrow. Then this one is gonna live next to there. So remember we read that as a, as a, as a 12. 12 subtract three, well that's going to give me an answer of nine. And then again, three subtract nothing gives me three. And so the answer to example number two is 3,918. There we are. And I'm being, um, I'm marking my work as I go along here. 
It's very presumptuous of me, but um, I know I've got these right. Right, example number three. So six to subtract five is one. So this is one where we don't have to borrow. Next column, four take away five. We do here, I'm afraid. So strike the two, that becomes a one. Then the one that we've taken off, make that a 14. 14 subtract five, that's going to give me a nine. And then hundreds column, one subtract one is nothing. Okay, now again, this time the three is smaller. So I'm going to borrow from the four. That reduces to a three. That becomes a 13. 13 subtract four. Okay, well, that then gives me another nine. And then three subtract nothing gives me a three. Okay, now you don't have to write this zero in the last column if you don't want. But um, it just makes it kind of mindful to you that there, you've got an extra column to do because sometimes it is easy to just forget that you've finished there. So the answer to that one is 39,091. And again, it doesn't matter how long the numbers are, this column method process will work. Um, so now we've got example four is, is um, some numbers that are in the hundreds of thousands. One take away six, well, we know that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna fly. So we need to borrow. So we're going to reduce that 2 to a 1, move the 1 next to this 1 in the units column there. 11, take away 6, it gives me a 5. And again, I'll just recap the, the easy way of doing it. So we're going to count on. So there's 6. So to get to, to, get to 10, I'm adding 4. And then to get to 10 to 11, it's just a 1. And then so we know the answer is going to be 5. So just adding these two together. So sometimes that's just an easier way of um, doing a subtraction by actually something called counting on. Some people might call it different things. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if you get it right. One add one, um, one take away one, put a zero, uh, a subtract there. One take away one is nothing. Hundreds column, six take away three, that's just a normal subtraction, so we can do that. Six take away three is three. Thousands column, two subtract seven. It's too small, we can't, because oh, remember, we've got to check every single column if it's bigger than the bottom or not. So, reducing that to a 2, so then that's 12, subtract 7, so that gives me an answer of 5. 10 thousands column, 2 subtract 1 is 1, and then lastly, the 100 thousands column, 4 subtract 1 gives me a 3. And so the, the answer to example number 4 is going to be... 315,305. And so it doesn't matter which column needs to kind of be compensated, you just do it. There is no pattern. Um, and it all depends on what numbers that you have. You know, some numbers are more difficult to do than others. But as per this series, I want you to get good at this so you can do it regardless of whatever the number is. And again, the complexity of these compensations. Um, will get harder as we progress through the levels. That's why we're taking it step by step. And that's why these all of these written method um, playlists have like seven levels in it, in them. It's because they're quite complicated if you've never seen them before. And so we need to split them up bit by bit. Some math topics we can do in two levels, but these, these are fairly complicated because they've been kind of established over hundreds of years. Before calculators were invented, this is how kind of people did their calculations. Right, so now you've seen your examples. Let's, uh, so these are your practice questions for you to do. Question number four, um, so that's written as money and it's not actually set up for you to do your column method subtraction, but you just you set that up yourself. And um, if you just need a recap on how to do that, you can watch level one again. Um, you just write one underneath the other, which is fair enough. And remember the order that you write them is important. So once you've, once, um, once you've done those, check the answer walkthrough video and I'll see you soon. So thanks for watching this video from uh, Maths from Scratch.